From the newsroom at news.com.au. G'day, I'm Andrew Bucklow, and this is the latest from the newsroom. It's Tuesday, the 19th of January. We'll start with the Australian Open, and Nick Kyrgios has labelled Novak Djokovic a tool for sending a list of demands to tournament organisers. The world number one reportedly asked for players in hotel quarantine to be moved to private homes with tennis courts so they could practice. Kyrgios also lashed out at Bernard Tomic's girlfriend. She complained that she didn't have access to a professional hairdresser in hotel quarantine, saying she never washes her own hair. Kyrgios tweeted, I don't mind Bernie, but his missus obviously has no perspective. Ridiculous scenes. Meanwhile, in other news, a teenage terrorist who ordered a Melbourne man to behead a police officer during an Anzac Day parade will be freed just five years into a life sentence. Terror experts have warned there was an element of risk in releasing the British prisoner who, for legal reasons, can only be referred to as RXG. Now, the British man was just 14 when he sent 3,000 messages encouraging Sevdet Bessem to attack the Melbourne Parade in 2015. The plot was foiled when Scotland Yard told Australian police, who swooped in and arrested Bessem with a team of 200 heavily armed officers. Now, Bessem is currently serving 14 years in prison in Victoria, but RXG is set to walk free, with questions being asked about how the UK Parole Board can be sure the teenage terrorist won't re-offend. In other news, Prime Minister Scott Morrison has said he'll rely on health advice when making a decision to attend the G7 summit in the UK in person, despite a COVID-19 crisis gripping the country. British PM Boris Johnson has extended an invitation to world leaders for the event to be held between June 11 and 13 in Cornwall on the UK south coast. The summit will centre on the global COVID-19 recovery, climate change and debt. Overseas now, and US defence officials are worried about a potential insider attack ahead of Joe Biden's inauguration. The FBI is now vetting the 25,000 National Guard troops who have been called to Washington to ensure the event is secure. A US Army secretary said that officials have been warned and directed to keep a watch for any problems within their ranks. However, he said no evidence of such threats have been found yet. To entertainment now, and Justin Timberlake has revealed the name of the son that he and wife Jessica Beale secretly welcomed during lockdown last year. Timberlake opened up about the baby on Ellen DeGeneres' talk show. Have a listen. You can tell me just vaguely his name and vaguely how old he is. <laughs> vaguely? Yeah. Yeah, I'll tell you his name. His his name is Phineas, and uh, he's awesome, and he's so cute, and nobody's sleeping. And finishing with sport into the BBL, where Hobart Hurricanes batsman Ben McDermott has left fans and commentators gobsmacked with one of the biggest hits you'll ever see in a cricket match. In fact, it was so big, the sixth distance tracker couldn't even pick it up as it sailed out of the ground without hitting the roof, with commentators speculating it could have gone at least 130 metres. Have a listen to this. Oh, wow. That's going to mark. That's in the hotel. That's, That's out of here. <laughs> That's in Lake Burley Griffin. <laughs> That's as well as you'll ever see a cricket ball get hit. Ben <laughs> McDermott has got every bit of that. You've got to check out the footage of that shot. Go to news.com.au. It is crazy. And hey, if you also want the chance to win $1,000 each week, all you've got to do is play the daily quiz at news.com.au forward slash quiz, and that cash could be yours. That's it for the newsroom. I'll be back in the afternoon with another update. Your update from news.com.au.